You know, I don't really know who I am, to be quite honest with you. It seems like to keep changing on me. But I can tell you what inspires me. I love the South, which is my home. It's the culture of it all. There's a culture that uh, is dying, is, is rich, and it's old. These are the people who came before me, and they're gone now. And a lot of people don't remember some of the little tiny things that they're taking with them. Or little buildings that have you know, managed to scrape through a Great Depression and to survive the worst times of American history. Small churches with wood floors and wood pews. 82 years ago, on this very stage, they tell me that Hank Sr. played a little bit of music with his Drifting Cowboys. Music has always been a big thing for me. Uh, it's always been the thing for me. I was just a regular fixture in the church. I was always singing. I was always opening my mouth at times I probably shouldn't have been. I am just so proud to be here. Not a whole lot of people expected much out of me when I was a kid, I'm the first to tell you. I was a writer primarily, and that was even kind of a mistake. The very first story I ever wrote, it was meant to make people laugh. I thought I'd be a humorist, you know, and I am, I guess, sort of. I, mean, I would call myself a humorist. I don't know if anybody else would, and I guess that means you're not a humorist if they don't, because you can't call yourself something, but. I drank nine Coca Colas. I love to make folks feel good. And as soon as I got to the edge of the stage, I did what my father referred to as the Elvis leg dance. <laughs> I took a few steps and I stopped and I did what my mother refers to as the Ed Sullivan Elvis dance. <laughs> she looked at me and she said, John Dietrich, the award for patience. And she reached over and handed this certificate to me and the Hoover Dam busted. <laughs> and when I finished, I let a little shiver go out my back. I shook my leg a few times. I walked up to that microphone and I said, I've got a river of life flowing out of me. My hope is that I just, that I get to keep making people feel good for as long as I'm here, as long as I have my mind, because I'm convinced I'll probably die of dementia. <laughs> because no matter how bad it gets, all the variables that add up together to make us who we are, we look at them like they're a big old math problem, but really, it's art, and that art, all them symbols that are so confusing, make a beautiful, beautiful design. And I can tell you, I don't know much about life, but one thing I do know is right now, I'm just proud to be here.